So the first flight went good. We collected all data that needed. And uh, now we're heading to the second rotation where we're going to fly at a lower altitude to collect data lower in the pit. Here we have good sights over the whole pit. No obstacles and everything looks fine from here. My name is Abdel Gianni from Microdrone. The agenda of today is to welcome our partner Sweco. We are going to support them and help them to do the setting of our solutions. By the way, they just arrived, <laughs> so it's perfect. Hi! Hello! Nice to see you. How are you? So today we have moved to the other side of the pit where we continue our surveying. We will try to do two flights from this side, one little higher and one little lower. The weather for today looks very nice. A little bit cloudy, no rain and no wind. Yesterday we were at the opposite side and it's a little bit higher up there. So from okay. this rotation we can follow the drone sure. all the time on a lower altitude. All right. We were at 80 meters yesterday, okay. and today we will probably probably go for 40 or 30 meters. Okay. Then we okay. get a, a denser point uh, mm -hmm. lower in the pit. Okay, we're finished with the quality check and everything looks fine. So we had a, a great day today, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. The system has worked fine. We have all the images, all the lighter data. Okay. So now the rest of the work is at the office. Okay. Where we're producing the train model and start to comparison Perfect. with the previous okay. years. So we have a report here on the quality. Yeah, we have a report. We took a quick look at okay. some important data. Everything looks great. So should we pack up and? Yeah, let's go to the office and yeah. have a look at the data. Yeah. At the data. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. Great Thank job. you. Yeah. After the flight, we checked the data or a quality check. We took it into MD Infinity and we started to produce the data, the deliverables. Together with Sweco and Microdrones, I think we had two really successful days and we collected the data needed for the project. Today we are inside to process yesterday's data. We have finished the trajectory processing. I'm checking out the values for the bore site and level arms, and it's correct according to our calibration reports. Next step is to import the LIDAR files. And I will process each flight session separately. So now we are finished processing the LiDAR data and it's time to check our data in Terrascan. So let's switch over to that. Here you can see I have imported all the LS files from all flight sessions to the same project. And now we can visualize it by the flight lines to see that we have covered all the area. Hi mate. Hi. How is it going? Yeah, yeah I'm just ready to do a visual check if we have a cover everything as I thought. Okay, so now this ground classification is ready for... Yes, it's ready for adjustment to our uh, terrestrial surveyed ground points. And after that, it's be compared with the previous collected right. data. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do we think about the point density? Do we got enough uh, returns from the rate fit? So we have to check that. We do that with the measuring point density tool. We just click here and you can see the point. Oh, oh wow. 905 points per square meter, right? That's uh, much more than expected. I'm not sure if that low flight bot was necessary. So we realized from the point density check that it wasn't uh, needed with the extra flight on the lower altitude because we got enough coverage on the higher altitude but it's always good to be on the safe side. It was really great to work as a three-party between 5D, our partner, 
Sweco, our end user, and, and MicroDrone as uh, the provider of solutions. This kind of synergy, teamwork, I think brings some added value to, to the project and provide great results at the end. Upon the successful completion of the mission and collection of the data, the team at Sweco can now provide an accurate DTM of the Great Pit to their customer and compare it to previously collected data to look for shifts in the terrain, erosion, and other surface irregularities that could reveal possible danger zones. Then in two years' time, they will revisit the Falun mine to update their data using drone surveying solutions from micro-drones.